Good day grade 11. In this lesson we're going to be looking at applying the reduction formula that we learned about in the last lesson. So let's do a couple of examples. They've asked us to simplify sine 163 cos 197 plus tan 17 plus cos of 180 degrees minus theta times tan of 180 degrees plus theta. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I do these things is I draw my little cast diagram. Okay, so I've got all stations to Cape Town. Okay, now obviously since we know that we're doing the 180 plus and the 180 minus theta, let's see what we can do with this. So this becomes sine and we want to relate this to 180. So if we get out our calculator, and we clear it, we go menu and we choose that and you press XE. Um, and then another thing we can say is, okay, fine, 180 minus 163 is equal to 17. So this is the same as saying 180 degrees minus 17 degrees, okay? And cos of 197, I'm hoping you realize, is the same as saying 180 plus 17 degrees, okay, plus tan of 17 degrees, plus cos of 180 minus theta. Okay, now let us change this already. So cos of 180 minus theta is in the second quadrant, and we know that cos is negative in the second quadrant, therefore this is multiplied, I mean this is plus, the negative of negative cos theta, I just like to put it in brackets so that you know that we're talking about a minus, times by tan of 180 plus theta. Now tan is 180 plus theta is in the third quadrant and tan is positive in that, so that is just multiplied by tan theta. Okay, so let's now have a look at this. So now we've got sine of 180 minus 17. That is the same as saying sine of 180 minus theta. And that is in the second quadrant. Remember that this is 180 minus. I'll just write it in here again just to help you. And this is 180 plus theta. And sine is positive in that second quadrant. And this angle stays the same. Over cos of 180 plus 17. So that's in the third quadrant there and cos is negative in the third quadrant. So it's negative cos 17. Then it becomes plus tan 17 plus and then I'm going to go plus times a minus is a minus and this is cos theta and now we're going to use identities we've learned as well. And we know that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So I'm going to replace this tan theta with sine theta over cos theta. So we're going to go sine theta over cos theta. Right, now we're going to use this in the same way that we've done here. We know that sine 17 over cos 17 gives us tan 17 and a plus divided by minus is a minus. So we've got minus tan 17 plus tan 17 and then remember that there's an implied 1 over here because it's cos theta over 1. So these cancel and a plus times a minus is a minus and a plus times a minus is a minus so it becomes a minus sine theta but minus tan 17 plus tan 17 is just 0 so what are we left with? Left with 0 minus sine theta. Right, that might seem seems a little bit complicated to you guys. Let's try another one so you can get to grips with this. It says determine the value of the expression without the use of a calculator, without the use of a calculator. And I've got numbers here, 150, sine 30, and cos 210. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to relate these all the ones that are bigger than 90, we're going to relate them to 180 plus and 180 minus. So first thing I'm going to do is draw my cast diagram. So we've got all station to Cape Town and in case you don't remember this is 180 minus theta and this is 180 plus theta. So we've got tan of 150 so I could rewrite that as tan of 180 minus 30 degrees because tan of 150 
50 is equal to 180 minus 30. We're multiplying that by sine 30 and then it becomes minus cos 210 but cos 210, 210 is in the third quadrant. It's the same as saying cos of 180 plus 30 degrees. Oh, this is looking good. So now let's look at this. It says tan of 180 minus 30 degrees. So 180 minus 30 degrees is in the second quadrant and we know that tan is negative in this quadrant. So this becomes negative tan of 30 degrees times by sine of 30 degrees minus, and let's put this one in brackets, cos of 180 plus 30. So 180 plus 30 puts me in the third quadrant and cos is negative in this third quadrant. So if it was minus cos 30 degrees. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to change this tan to what? In order to be able to carry on with the sum without actually using a calculator, we need to use identities. So we're going to say tan of theta is equal to what? It's sine theta over cos theta. So therefore we're going to go minus sine 30 degrees all over cos 30 degrees. I don't know if that's going to help you. We're just going to have a look. Sine 30 degrees minus times a minus is a plus and then that becomes cos 30 degrees and actually that didn't really help me because I can't cancel. So in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and erase that and just leave it at tan 30. So grade 11s don't freak out if you try something and it doesn't work. But now what else can we do? They said without the use of a calculator. And what did I teach you in the very first lesson? What did I revise with you? I revised your special triangles where we had 60, 30, we had this, this was 2, this was 1, and this was root 3. And remember grade 11's I said you have to learn this. So now what we can do is we can substitute in some pretty numbers for this. So we got negative. Tan 30, tan is, let's get out our Sakatoa in case we don't remember it, Sakatoa. Tan is opposite over adjacent. So now we're looking at the angle of 30 because all of these are 30s. Tan is opposite over adjacent. So it's going to be 1 over root 3 times by sine of 30. Sine is opposite over our hypotenuse. That's 1 over 2 plus cos 30 and cos 30 is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse which is root 3 over 2 so therefore we've got minus 1 over 2 root 3 plus root 3 over 2 now, unless they tell you otherwise, you can actually stop now, but I actually want to impress my math teacher. I want to show them how clever I am. So I'm going to put a common denominator down of 2 root 3. And if I do that, 2 root 3 goes into 2 root 3 once. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Plus 2 goes into 2 root 3 leaves me with root 3. Root 3 times root 3 becomes just 3. 3, so I end up with 3 minus 1, which becomes 2 over 2 root 3, and I cancel, cancel, and I end up with 1 over root 3, which is a beautiful answer. So grade 11s, do you see that now what have we done? We've used a combination, this time, of our 180 plus and minus, as well as our special triangle. Let's look at this example. This time we've got tan of 180 plus alpha, cos of 180 minus alpha, and sine of 180 minus alpha. And you'll see there's no actual degrees here, so we're not going to be using any of our special triangles, but we're definitely going to be using our cast diagram. So we've got all stations to Cape Town, and again, just to help us, that's 180 minus theta, and that's obviously 180 plus theta. Right, so let's simplify this. So this becomes tan of 180 plus alpha. So that 
is in the third quadrant and tan is positive in that third quadrant. So that just becomes tan alpha. How nice is that? Cos of 180 minus alpha. 180 minus alpha is in my second quadrant. And cos of that is if we're going to be negative cos alpha all over sine of 180 minus alpha. 180 minus alpha is in the second quadrant and sine is positive therefore it just becomes sine alpha. And in case some of you are getting confused it doesn't matter what this letter is. I could call it A, B, C, alpha, beta, gamma. It's just a placeholder. So it doesn't matter that here I'm talking about 180 minus alpha and here I'm talking about 180 minus theta. It's just the size of your basically of your acute angle. So now this time we definitely have to use our trig identity that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So tan alpha is sine alpha over cos alpha times by negative cos alpha all over sine alpha. So this cancels with this and the reason it cancels that remember is that there's an implied divide by 1 underneath this cos alpha. So what have we have got? We've got a minus times a sine alpha is minus sine alpha and that's all over your sine alpha which in this case these two cancel and you're left with minus 1. Doesn't that work out beautifully? And that grade 11 is how we apply the reduction formula for 180 plus and minus. Please go practice and then do the assessments at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.